Apple's newest 2018 iPad is basically the 2017 model with a faster processor and support for the Apple Pencil, a pricey stylus that lets you draw on the screen with remarkable accuracy. It's the same price as last year's model, starting at $329 for the 32GB model. Apple unveiled the new iPad at an event in Chicago touting its commitment to education. Today in this video we will be covering the 5 things that you should know about this new 2018 Apple iPad. Welcome to Rewind Studio, a place to get inspired. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for the latest upcoming recommended videos. We begin with the iPad's new OS. The new iPad 2018 is powered by Apple's A10 Fusion chipset which has previously featured in the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. It is an upgrade over the new iPad 2017 2, which featured the A9 chip. It means that you do get more power over its predecessor, but it still won't be as powerful as the A10X chips in the latest iPad Pro devices. The new iPad also runs the latest version of Apple's mobile platform, iOS 11, and it should be in line for major iOS updates for the next couple of years at least. Moving on, we have the new iPad, 2018, software and apps. There are new versions of Pages, Numbers and Keynote. Apple's answer to Microsoft's Office Suite, which now support pencil input as the firm really drives home the messaging that this is an iPad that's great to do school work on. Pages will also adopt a new feature called Smart Annotations that will move with the section of text image they are associated with, so you never lose your notes. It won't be available in the first update of Pages though, it'll arrive later. The new iPad will also offer richer learning environments, such as the ability to dissect a frog in AR, rather than having to use an actual frog. Up next we have the new iPad, 2018, design. And surprisingly, Apple hasn't altered its design language for the new iPad 2018. It looks like the previous iteration, complete with a premium metal unibody and a relatively bezel-heavy front aspect. The physical home button remains, with a Touch ID fingerprint scanner embedded into it, a FaceTime HD camera above the display and a rear-facing camera in the corner on the back. Next thing that you should know about is the new iPad, 2018, display. It's more of the same in terms of the display, with Apple's familiar 9.7 inch, 4 to 3 aspect ratio panel providing a pleasing 2048 to 1536 resolution. There's nothing new here, but we found the screen on the iPad, 2017, to be excellent so it's unlikely to let you down here. Last up we have the iPad, 2018, cameras. Apple is also pushing the versatility of the new iPad, which is why it's included a front and rear camera. The 8 megapixel rear snapper can be used for augmented reality experiences as well as taking photos, and then you can use the pencil, or crayon, to annotate them. It also supports full HD video recording. Round the front a 1.2 megapixel FaceTime HD camera allows you to make video calls, as well as snap the odd selfie. In addition to everything, Apple also upgraded the iCloud free storage from 5GB to 200GB, but this is only for the customers enrolled in the student plan. We hope that this video will be helpful in making a purchase decision. Please like and subscribe to our channel Rewind Studio. 
for the latest recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.